Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting, and Happy New Year! So, have you decided on a New Year's resolution yet? This is finally the year that I'm going to do something about the few extra pounds I've been carrying around. Mmm, girl, oh, is that a midget? Maybe I should cut down on porn. Mm-hmm, yep. I swear to God I will come down there and beat your ass, Mr. Quan. Hem. My. Pants. I hate to do it, but Mr. Quan... <sighs> you know what? I should really learn to be nicer to my dry cleaner. But regardless of what you are resolved to modify, change is tough. If it wasn't, you would have already done it by now. But one piece of resolution advice that I can give you is not to overcommit yourself. A big mistake so many people make is to try and change too many things all at once. This year, I'm going to lose weight, quit smoking, spend more time with my dickhead brother, become a ninja. Don't get me wrong, I am a big fan of personal development and self-improvement, but this year, pick one thing to work on, and then take the appropriate steps to modify the behavior, aka resolution. And if you fall down, if you mess up, if you screw up, pick your ass up and get back to work. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. Each failure is one step closer to you figuring out how to succeed, something you've been working a long time to correct. For me this year, my resolution is pretty simple and straightforward. I am going to attempt to stay warm while still maintaining a level of timeless style. And so today I thought we'd go over one of my favorite classic winter jackets, the Peacoat. The Peacoat was originally worn by American and European sailors and are characterized by a navy blue color, broad lapel, double breasted front, and vertical splash pockets. Sailors have been sporting the peacoat since the early 1700s. The original standard issue peacoat was made out of a 30 ounce wool. What does that mean? That means that jacket was heavy. Dean the boys. A 30 ounce wool jacket is great for keeping you warm and protecting you from the elements. The only problem is that mother is heavy for everyday wear. But today's commercial peacoats, the ones that you and I can buy in the store, are going to be made of a lighter wool or a poly blend. The result, it's still going to keep you very warm, but it is going to be a lot lighter in weight so that you are a lot more comfortable just wearing that thing around day in and day out in the cold winter months. So let's talk about the colors that peacoats come in. Now, they come in the standard or classic navy blue, but they also come in black charcoal gray, and they also come in other colors, like tan, a camel color. They also come in a lighter gray. If I were to offer my personal opinion on what color, if you were going out to purchase a new peacoat, I would say go with a gray. The reason being is that gray works universally with pretty much any color you pair it with. It looks great with black, it looks great with brown, it looks great with pink, with green. Gray is sort of the most neutral and workable color as far as outerwear jackets is concerned. Gray is also fantastic if you have pets because the gray color doesn't necessarily show cat hair, dog hair, ferret hair, gerbil hair, like black wood, or even dark navy blue for that matter. Just when you thought it was safe to go out and find something in a charcoal gray, you first need to understand that there are also different degrees and varying shades of charcoal gray. Some are very, very dark, almost black, and you might have a hard time distinguishing if you see it just by itself whether or not it's black or if it's gray. I would go and steer a little bit on the lighter side. Make sure that from the naked eye you can tell that it's gray. It's going to be a lot more aesthetically neutral than black or that really dark charcoal gray. But it's still great. Now let's talk about how the peacoat should fit you. We're going to start with its length. Your peacoat should come down and cover your butt. So if you put that jacket on and some of your butt cheeks are showing, that means that the jacket is too short. But your jacket should also come down no further than the top third of your thigh. If that jacket comes down to mid-thigh or longer, it may still resemble or share some of the peacoat qualities with the buttons and the wide lapel, but this is something basically more along the lines of a top coat, just inspired by a peacoat. 
So, it still looks and resembles a pea coat, but it actually is a top coat because it is coming down a bit longer. Now, this longer top coat is actually going to be better suited for you if you are heavy set. It's going to make you look longer, leaner. The short jacket is going to make you look a little bit rounder and a little bit shorter. So, if you are on the chubby side, go with a longer top coat. That's my recommendation personally. All right, so some of the characteristics that make a peacoat a peacoat are going to be the large lapel. Also, it's going to be double-breasted like we talked about. Double-breasted, all that means is one side fits and wraps inside the other side. You're also going to have two rows of buttons, and it's these buttons that are going to be responsible for the coat hugging your body, creating that beautiful silhouette. All right, now let's talk about how to actually wear and button your peacoat. Your pea coat, like we said, has rows of buttons. It also has a button at the very top, right up there, and an eye for that button. Don't ever button this. It's supposed to be worn open like this. You also have an interior button right there. Now, it is essential that you button this button as well as the buttons on the outside. Reason being is that this is going to keep the lines of the pea coat nice and tight, all right? As opposed to it falling down and getting asymmetrical. Then, you are going to want to button the button right there and possibly the button right below it. It also has a third button down here that you are not going to button under any circumstances. So, two buttons when you're wearing the peacoat, that's enough. And as a result of the construction and the design of the peacoat, it actually is giving you the illusion of having very broad shoulders and a small slim waist. But it can only do this and have the illusion of creating this beautiful silhouette if you follow the golden rule of style. Fit, fit, fit. It's all about fit. The single most important aspect of anything that you wear, buy, or own is fit. And outerwear is no exception. I see so many would-be stylish dudes walking around that would have a great outfit on, except their jacket is like two sizes too big. It makes them look heavier, dumpier, and they are totally missing out on the illusion of that beautiful silhouette that a fitted jacket can make. So the next time you go into a store to try on a new jacket, I want you to do your buddy Alpha a solid. Size down. For the sake of experimentation and your image, the next time you go in to try on a winter coat or a jacket, I want you to try the smaller size. So, if you typically wear a large, try the medium. If you wear a medium, try the small. You get the idea. Size down. By doing this, you're going to be amazed. The jacket, the smaller size, it's still going to fit you. Yes, it is going to feel a little bit tighter. It's not going to be overly tight. Now, if you can't button the jacket, then it is obviously too small and stick to your normal size. But chances are it's going to fit you. You're still going to have enough room for your shirt or sweater underneath, but what's going to happen is you are cutting out a lot of the extra and excess fabric. It is going to keep you from looking like this, and instead you're going to look like the boss. Another aspect of the peacoat that we need to discuss and talk about is the collar. To pop or not to pop? That is the question. And the answer is either way is glorious. Me personally, on a pea coat, I like to pop the collar. It gives it a little bit more rugged edge and look. It also is going to protect your neck when it's really cold outside. But don't worry, you are not going to look like a polo poppin' douchebag by popping the collar of your pea coat. The pea coat is a classic jacket with timeless elegance, not easily duplicated in the world of men's outerwear. So gentlemen, if you're looking for a new jacket this winter to keep you warm and looking smooth, you might want to go check out a pea coat. I would recommend getting it in charcoal gray, but if you want camel, you want black, hey, who am I to say? You are going to look fantastic. And gentlemen, 2012, let's make it our year. You look at a Chinese calendar or menu when you go to a Chinese restaurant, there's like the year of the dog, year of the cat, year of the tiger. When you look at 2012, I want it to have your face on it. It's the year of you and me, and all. Have a great new year, guys, and be safe. Bye-bye.